I just really, really want to play more. And we're live with episode 12 of the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky SC. Uh, so it's almost 7 p.m. I'm live for the third time today because, well, I wanted to play more and I need to fix my sleep. So we're here. Uh, blah, 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 something about a, mo a monster, Grand Cell Sewer. Okay, we're going to the sewers. <laughs> but first... Gotta get weapons. <laughs> Pull arm, yes. Chain, yes. That's... Mm, no. Saber, yes. <sighs> yes. Okay, root, <laughs> root Emma, root. Help! I'm being called crazy by my mods. Probably has something to do with me streaming three times in one day, but still. <laughs> Rude. This is streamer abuse! Man, I have to sell a lot of stuff now. There we go. Go live to have fun and I get abused by my mods. This... Oh, I feel like I'm 2018 again. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, considering my mental health in 2018 was not the best. Uh... I know I said I wanted EP cut through for some reason, so let's just grab it. Um, or man. Oh, to get rid of cast. It does indeed one to one replace it three. Okay.
Oh, I do have Hellgate. Interesting. Area S. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was a chaos breath. Single debilitate, confused. Oh. Unless it, unless it's guaranteed confused, it's not. It's kind of pointless. Anyway, where were we going? Oh yeah, the sewers. We need to go to the department store first, though. Or south of the department store. Ah, oh, there he is. So in the end, everything is as it was. Today too, I'm pondering so much fun. I'm sure I'll spend tomorrow pondering as well. No job, no girlfriend. I wonder if my life has a purpose. Uh, look, Anton. That cloud. It looks like Duke Dunon's hairstyle. Dude, poor Anton. Honestly. Man needs a break. I think Kaseki uh, did a video on the story of Anton that I'm supposed to watch that I was supposed to have watched and then never did. Um, where's the entrance to the sewer? There's the entrance to the sewer. Okay. Oh, it's a fishing spot. No, we're not gonna fish. I wasn't even meant to attack these guys. Also, I probably sound like a robot right now. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if I did. Anyway, we might have a robot stream. Who knows? <laughs> Find a message scratched along the bottom. Loot this chest and do your worst, but be warned for you be cursed. That would have been nice to know before I looted the chest. Not gonna lie. I would have very much liked to know that looting the chest would give me a curse of some form. Okay.
Silver Gauntlets. Very extra item you take from a treasure chest. A creepy sheep is sheared. Give me more items! Give me all of your items then. 205. Of Eastern Origin. What is something from Calvert doing all the way here? You open the chest to find a bad Danad man hiding inside. Just kidding, it's empty. Men only. It heightens the mind. And it gives plus 15 to arts defense and arts. Back achy. I have completely forgotten to stretch today. And I've been sat in my chair since, like, 3.30 in the morning. Go all the way to the bottom. <sighs> For sale, reviving bomb, never used. Right. And the biggie boy item. The goaded item of all of ultimate goadedness is actually uh, in this dungeon. Let's go grab it so that we can all rejoice. I'm guessing these don't aren't. Well, there's the Zero capsule that I was, you know, oh, the goaded item of ultimate goadedness, but look still. You open the chest, find hundreds of hissing snakes, and immediately close it again. Good. Good thing you already got whatever item was in there. Hmm. You probably need to, be, you need to come in from the east side to access it, which I cannot get to, blah, blah, blah. Audio problems because the people are actually ho home now. <laughs> Makes sense. Bro, that thing's ugly. Is 
Zeron Capsule. Cures KO, heals all HP, restores 200 CP. It's too bad you can't buy these. If I could buy these DLC, I would. Oh, I, it seems I cannot. Well, hmm. someone died. Oh, craft chain two. Third stream, third stream, third stream. Why do you attack Estelle? Oh boy. Can I chain it? Oh no, I can't because they're confused. Ah, I need a stronger version of Korea. Cure Chloe. And then we'll have Chloe cure um Shara.
Okay. Uh, I'm very tempted to use the Zerum capsule right now. But that would be bad. Um ah, I cannot. <laughs> I mean, lowering speed is is one thing. That's fine. I, I don't need to be fast. Slow and steady wins the race after all. I really do wonder how robotic I sound with the interference. Okay, okay, um... I can do craft, chain... Shara... Tita fourteen twenty one. <sighs> I mean, that would be completely and utterly useless. Just do this and kill it with Tita. <laughs> you just chain two? No, 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 no. Chain two only works if we have three people. Or at least I only want to use it when I have three people. Hey. And that is ooh, one quest down. Though it seems we can't get to the other side this time, which is weird because you could walk between the two sides before. That is so weird. Now I have to get back outside. Oh, 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 a shining palm, a shining palm. We gotta kill it! We gotta kill the shining palm! It must be murderized! It cannot be allowed to live! Okay, it's, it's dead. <laughs> That's like a Mega Sepith, and also easy XP. 24! <laughs> I love that! 2490 XP. Wow, everybody leveled up. T learned chain too. And that's why we do it. And that's why we always murderize the, chi the shining palms. Another shining palm! Murderize it! <laughs> oh, fuck.
It's gonna run away now. Craft chain two. Yeah. Damn it. Uh, craft. I can't hit it. It's gonna run. No. Oh, it didn't run. Good, 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 good. Craft chain two. Shara. Okay, Tita. Murder exit. Wow. The, 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 it's just, it's just not. There we go. It's been murderized. I probably shouldn't call it that. But I refuse to call it anything else because it's pretty much what we're doing it. Mm, no, can't risk it. I ain't got no CP. Do, 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 do. I believe the Liberal News Service is now in is now here. Nope, no, it's not here. Big Sag. We will move on then. This is just empty houses. This is literally an empty <laughs> Also zoned for food service. I love it. Mm. Warehouse... District? Wait, what? Oh, that's new? No, 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 we're, uh... Where's the customers come without an appointment? Hey! You're the people who beat me at the casino in Rouen. Ah, uh, uh, nice to see you too, I guess. Listen, please. After that, I tried making up for the money I'd lost with all kinds of gambles, but that match with you is where my luck turned. When I realized everything I'd want had disappeared, well, really, that's kind of sad. That's what gambling is, when you cut right to it. Yeah, I thought I'd figured it out sooner. I guess it's true of anything, but you should always know when to quit. I didn't, and I made things hard for my wife because of that. I'm going to do all I can to make it up to her. Oh, the dear managers are working the harbor block. We'll take orders to transfer to... Uh... Oh, I thought I could give the man some monies. You know, help the economy, as it were. And also make up for the fact that his wife convinced me to, you know... Eh, just seems to be important. See, this is where, like, the speed up in Cold Steel would come in handy. I just press the button for it and I just, like, zoom. Anyway, I wanted to go to the cathedral. Ah, are you the one he spoke of, perhaps? Who's he? I don't think I know anyone here. The goddess saves those who save themselves. May find good guidance. Has the other day when I visited the sanctum gate, I felt the earthquake that everyone's been talking about. Though they are over now, the folks' eyes must still be quite nervous. To all earthquakes can happen suddenly with no warning. Mm. That that's like a red flag right there. Uh, I guess Josh has been here.
That's what that sounds like. That sounds like Josh has been here. Oh, I find fish praying the hymn book. Things have gone busier since Sister Ellen disappeared. I wonder if they'll send a replacement soon. Uh. Oh boy. Did nobody tell her? Oh boy. Anyway, um, the next, the next set of quests, um, oh goodness, uh, oh, ew, it's all gross now. I forgot Twitch is being weird. Mm. Anyway, the next quest is the Arab Scenic Route Monster. Um, that's on the way to do the the Emma the main scenario stuff. Um, okay. Let's see. All right, so we're going to go south. The completionist in me requires that I do all the quests as much as possible. Except that one quest where we ha I had to do Sunday school. The, the, no. <laughs> I didn't know about that, and even if I did know about that, I would not have done it. Been there, done that, don't want to do it again. All right, um... <laughs> the, uh, the route to the Royal Villa <laughs> is obscenely complicated. Because there's two ways around it. Hmm... Right, I can either go south or east. I'm gonna go south. Hmm. Okay. I can get my bearings from here. Um. So it seems. Okay, okay. Arab Scenic Route is to the right. That means we'll pop up where chests 3, 4, and 5 are. Okay. We'll take the chests in reverse then. If I'm reading the map I have in front of me right. Of course, as we know on this channel, I'm a massive derp, and I have actually gotten lost looking at a map. So... Uh, only one way to find out. We're gonna open up chest 4. Right? Yep, that would be just four. Just four is Tira Ball. Yep. All right. So north, south, get five and three. You don't find anything this time, but maybe you kept on opening and closing this one chest. If you kept on opening and closing this one chest over and over again. Don't actually do this. Hey, hey, as entertaining as that would be for me. 
Uh, it probably wouldn't be for the stream or for those watching this on YouTube. So, I'm gonna pass. Deathblow 2. The chest unleashes a poison gas trap. At least it would if it could, because you looted already and it hates you now. Oh. Um. Fair? <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say to that, but fair? <laughs> like, I did loot it. Defense 3, is that correct? Yes. Wear good shoes and you'll never see defeat. <laughs> uh... Punny. Now, we got a battle to to do, and then I need to grab two chests. Boom, boom. Although to be fair, if I I'm gonna backtrack because if I backtrack, I can just grab the chests and then do the fight. It's just Sepith and a tier one, but look, still, I want the Sepith. Oi, big sharky boy. <laughs> I remember when I first saw that in the in, in the last game, I was just like maybe jump. Same time gay a grunsel 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 grunsel. Do you gotta love having a princess in our party? There's absolutely no benefit to this. We got a princess and an engineer. Cause you know, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Garoon Gate. I believe that's the Roland. <sighs> we we'll have to go home, but the game won't let us. All right, one is here, and then two is down there. And Rumble Pond is just a fishing spot. Uh, no, I did fishing in one, right? Apologize, uh, apologies for the dizziness of that one. As payment for taking my stuff, you must cut down the tallest tree in the forest. With a herring! I don't have a herring, sorry. I also don't think the game is programmed to allow me to even try that. But I would. <laughs> I 100% I, I would try and cut down a tree with a herring. Both in-game and IRL, because I think it's funny. All right, I waited four years for this game and all I got was this stupid chest message. Four years? Didn't SC come out two years after uh, after the first one? Why would you wait four years? Hell, I think even the English version came out two years after. A large monster is prowling. <laughs> the 
this isn't a large mod. Well, I mean, it is, but. Yes, gather up together so that when Tita um, fires at one of you, I fire at all of you. <sighs> I do wonder how many times we're going to stream three times in one week. In one day. Uh -uh. I think the only time I could do that is... Today? Probably. For being realistic. Oh, that last bit just... Golden armor. Why does that sound like some kind of Dragon Ball Z stuff? Mm, chain 2, Tito. Oh jeez, Cher just got pushed. He dared lay hands on the princess. His punishment for that must be death now. This is treason! Somehow, Chloe's now 55 while the others are lagging behind. Okay. There we go. Do, 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 do. Da, da, da. Wow, it's so pretty. <laughs> the Royal Villa. It's sort of nostalgic in a that was an awesome adventure kind of way. It seems a bit more lively this time though. The villa is usually open to the general public. Many people use it as a place to relax. Huh, okay, cool. There are a lot of families here. I'd imagine our lost child was with a family like that. Let's find Raymond and see what's happened. Okay. <sighs> I forget where Raymond is. I mean, okay, that works too. Oh dear, oh dear. The braces will be here any minute. Where could she have gone? Hello? Um. Ah, uh, yes, yes. May I ask what you... Oh. Mm, wait, you're... Uh, hello, I guess you remember us? Uh, how could I forget? We all owe you greatly for what you did at the villa. And wait, that's... Is something wrong, sir? Er, no, uh, no, I'm mistaken. You just look like someone I know, miss. Oh, do I remind you of your girlfriend, perhaps? Oh, Chloe, you were a tease. Uh, um, not at all. 
Or so I take it you are the team Elnan said would be coming. Yeah, that's right. Is everything okay though? You seem kind of troubled. It's about that lost child, actually. She's um, how do I put this? Lost again. She told me, let's play hide and seek, and just vanished. I've been looking for her ever since. Oh, um, crap. I'll find her soon, I swear. Please wait in the lounge. You know where that is, right? Well, yeah, I do, but you look like you're some trouble. You sure you don't want a hand? Are you sure? I wouldn't want to impose. It's a bit late for us to back out now, anyway. If you give us her name and description, we'll look for the girl. <sighs> Thank you. She's a preteen girl wearing a white frilly dress and black hair ribbon. She never gave me her name, though. You didn't find out her name? Seriously? She wouldn't tell me. Every time I asked, she just said, It's a secret. <laughs> Think she came in with her family. I couldn't find her parents or anyone who knew her. My only option is to call you in the end. I, uh, I see. I didn't see how energetic little girl you got there. I'm not sure it's energetic. Precocious and whimsical is more like it. I got a distinct impression she was enjoying toying with adults around her. So a prankster kitten kind of girl. Reminds me a bit of someone I know. Yes, exactly. Ah, where could you have gone off to? Fair sure I left the building, but... So we should probably search the entire building, including the courtyard. Uh, the villa is a great place to play hide and seek with a kitten. Uh, wait in the lounge then. When you find her, please bring her there. Will do. Oh boy! Oh boy! Okay, let's hunt down a kitten child. So why dress black hair ribbon? <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard to find. I can't wait to meet her. Let's start looking around, shall we? Oh boy. Uh, so we got two options. One is wander aimlessly door to door. The other is I look it up in the guide. We're gonna wander aimlessly door to door. <laughs> He's late. It's too late, I say. Curious you feel, how much time does it take just to purchase a magazine and some donuts? Blast it. How long does he intend to keep me? Hey! Oh. Y you! Oh, didn't I see this snowball in the castle during the coup? Duke Dudan. Oh, joy of joys. Oh. Um, hello, uncle. Have you been well? Ah! Have you no shame, Claudia? And you, brigand! Because of you, all because of you, I've been forced to this life of shame. House arrest of all things. Okay, I don't think it's really fair to say it's our fault. You're the one who bought into Colonel Richard's plan, you know. <laughs> I confess that imprisoning her majesty was out of line, perhaps. Richard may have suggested it, but I should have gainsaid him. <laughs> so you can actually admit you were wrong about that whole deal. That's pretty humble coming from you. Do not miss Sammy. I love and respect her majesty. As both a ruler and the not, she is utterly above reproach. But you, Claudia... But to consider naming a little girl like you as a su successor is simply madness. Unacceptable insanity. I... Now just a second. And Chloe's smart, studious, kind, merciful. She's got all kinds of virtues that attract people to her. Where do you go get off in calling her a little girl, huh? Estelle, that's enough. If I was admit I'm not ready to take the throne. I suppose the only natural uncle finds that unpleasant. But Chloe, you always did have some sense at the very least. But you, Claudia, I've always seemed allergic to attending public ceremonies. Uh, I don't like this dude. I like him even less now. I'm far better known among the citizenry. While you remain a veritable ghost. You have not once publicly demonstrated that you are ready to stand above others. Why, from what I understand, you hide your, tr your true identity while living as a student. And as if that weren't enough, you even waste your time at some backwater... And yeah, he just went from... I don't like this man to just complete another scumbag. Backwater orphanage. You should be presiding over the common rabble at ceremonies, not wallowing in the mud with them. That is the purpose of nobility, stand above all other men in lordship. It's as you say, uncle. Uh, man, I don't really know much about the purpose of nobility, so you might have a point. Well, of course I do. But I can say this, Chloe's trying her hardest to figure out what she wants to be. And it's helping us out in the mi middle of her own problems. And she sure as hell is doing a lot more than some duke who sits around doing nothing because he's under house arrest. <laughs> oh boy. What? You dare? Estelle. Uncle Dudon. I'm trying as hard as I can to find my own path as I help Estelle. I think by the end of it all, we will know if I have the right to become the next queen or not. So please, hold your judgment until then. What? Ah, this is absurd. I'll deal with this no further. Be gone. Trust me, I don't want to stick around. Though, come to think of it, I need it. I need to. I gotta ask one thing. As a girl in a white dress, come by here. 
What are you talking? No, no little girls come by. Be gone. Yeah, sure. Enjoy your donuts or whatever. Pardon us. <gasps> Chloe is a goddamn angel in comparison to this dude. <laughs> I'm fighting the urge to strangle that guy. Honestly, if I could stick my hand through the screen and strangle uh, and just strangle him myself, I would. He's not acting like he's the most innocent person in the world while insulting Chloe at the same time. No, his criticism was fairly reasonable, I think. His concept of nobility is perhaps outdated, but he's correct about the qualities one must possess to lead. But wait, putting duty aside, I fear he's correct about my readiness to be the next queen. He's still mean. Yeah, still. To tell you the truth, I'm glad we met him here. I think I've gained a new sense of what I'm lacking. Well, I'm glad you got something positive out of it. Anyway, shall we find us a lost girl? Yes, let's. I I despise that man. How has he not been hung? I am all tired. Blah blah blah. Uh, so decide prepare for the signing ceremony. And what Michaelville this is? Indeed, it's more than sufficient for hosting the ceremony. The bear kingdom is quite small on the map, and yet it feels anything but. Now that I'm actually here, the people are kind, and no matter where I go, the view is breathtaking. Yeah, it is amazing. <laughs> That's the lounge. Maybe she's hiding under here? Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, Stel, you aren't wearing shorts anymore, so be careful when bending over. What? Oh. <laughs> oops. Yeah, that's definitely a whoops. Sorry, honestly. Uh... You here, maybe? Oh, where the non aggressive pack signing ceremony will be held. Oh, is that so? Yes, of course. On the day itself, there won't just be ambassadors to the Empire Republic. There will also be a representative from the King Department. I didn't really get a chance to look at this place when I was here during the coup d'etat. It's kind of nostalgic. You saved me when I was held here. It's not just to know the room from that time is being used for si the signing ceremony. Yeah, still though, that I can just relax and have a good, a a good look at it. It really is a dignified room. Absolutely. That's why I always work extra hard when I clean it. <laughs> I'm not great at cleaning, but I understand how you feel. Well, good luck with it. Yes, thank you. Oh, you're not gonna ask her about um Hold him here. It's not peeked underneath it, but there's no one hiding here. Ooh, I was so sure this was it. <laughs> I think she's a bit less predictable than that. Um this is utter insanity. That that's what this is. This is utter insanity. We are searching an entire villa for one little girl. Yeah, it's the part that I had the spare key when we free the manor. It's sort of an actual kid sized paw, so maybe she's in here. I doubt that, unless you think she's so skinny as to squeeze through that thin an opening. Oh, uh, a good point. I mean, ah, it's it's a good theory. Uh, superior paw says, straight right on the label. All I have to do is read it. Talk about eye roll, this thing. This part presented by the public ambassador is quite lovely. Yep, they're probably sure has some nice powder. I can spot their collar from an arch away. E e Kids right. That is very um Inspect every surface.
Nope. Is the book you're looking for a girl? No, I haven't seen her. Mm. This is a problem. There's no one near the bench. She's not behind the bench or the planter. Hey, maybe she's in the planter. We should have to be as small as a cat to fit in there, so yeah, I guess not. There's no one near the bench. There's no one near the bench. I'm going to click on every single one of these benches. You never know. She could literally be hiding underneath the bench. I've done it as a kid. So it's not near the matches. Let's talk to all the peoples. Go and go my dress. Now they mentioned, I think I saw someone like that playing around here. Do you know where she went? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't quite remember. Darn it. And is this found running on Energy too? That said, a lot of things run on Energy in the world. Hmm, I see. This feel certainly feels worthy of royalty. But speaking here makes me feel like I've become a prince myself. Oh, he's such a romanticist. If he's a prince, then I suppose that makes me the princess. Mm. I suppose it does. I suppose it does. Nope, that's the library. We've checked there. Uh, um... I think I've searched this entire place. Mm, seems like she's not hiding around here, huh? Maybe that girl makes full, making full of grown-ups. I wonder if Raymond hasn't already found her. I don't know. I could ask. Did you manage to find her? Nope, couldn't find a single hair. I swear, we've covered every hiding place too. That's unfortunate. You don't think she left the villa, do you? Oof, that wouldn't be very fun. Mm, she's really playing hide and seek. I don't think she would though. It's supposed to hide in a place you can get to by walking not too far from the start point. I suspect she's just at some place we haven't thought to check yet. True, you always were good at this sort of thing when you were younger. You should always search a bit longer. Okay, uh, we're gonna go look in the guide because... Duh. You've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> this girl's location. I hate it. I hate it. Keep searching. Yeah, let's try changing tactics. Oh, the counter just in case. Hey! Hmm? So it didn't matter. <laughs> you could say that. Oh, I lost. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate that. <laughs> what the? I need to go and met Erlen. 
I thought it might be you, Ren. Hello, miss. I'm happy you remembered me. Goodness, I was expecting her to be an acquaintance of yours. So your name is Ren, right? That's right. Sorry for keeping a secret, mister. <laughs> Don't worry. But Ren, why did you run off and play hide and seek like that? I was worried. Because I'd heard Mrs. Cell was coming. I wanted to play hide and seek with her, so I worked really hard to find a nice hiding spot. <laughs> well, okay. It's kind of incredible you knew it was us coming, though. You said your braces, right? I heard some braces would be coming. We are, yeah, but we're not the only braces in the world, you know. It could have been someone else. But I believed I knew it'd be the ones who, you'd be the ones who'd come. And see? You did. I guess I can't argue against that logic. I mean... You really can't! No. Uh, are you guys that logic? Well, putting that aside, where'd your mother and father go? Why were you playing all alone? Wow, miss, your clothes are funny. Don't you get cold with your belly out like that? Hmm. You guys do it, it's very comfort. Er, but that's not the point. About your parents. And your skin is so dark. You're from the south across the sea, right? I really care with how cold it gets here. Traveled all over as performed with the circus, yes. So I'm fine in heat or cold. More to the point. Would you mind telling us what happened to your parents, Ren? Oh, okay. So where did Papa and Mama go? I'm not so sure either. Wait, you don't know? Not at all. I came here with Mama, Papa and Mama to play. But after lunch, Papa gave me a real serious look and said, Ren, Papa has something important to do, so he and Mama have to say goodbye for now. But don't worry, once it's done, we'll come and get you. Be good girl until Papa comes back, alright? They just... What the hell? Yeah, that... Uh, I'm already 11, so I said, I'll be good, Papa. And after that, Papa and Mama left. Well, it's quite a bit worse than I imagined it would be. Or, I certainly wasn't expecting something like that. Yeah... What should we do? This seems to be quite a bit beyond just finding her parents at this point. Yeah, tell me about it. Share it. You think we should? You don't even need to ask. I'd never let her, leave her here like this. Don't worry, man. We'll take care of this girl for now. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ren. Do you want to visit the Capitals Bracer Guild with us? I may be able to find your papa and mama easy peasy. Really? But papa and mama said they had something important to do and to wait here. It's okay. We'll definitely find them. Trust in Mrs. Stell, okay? Mm, okay then, I'll go with you. Thank you, Mrs. Stell. It's okay, stay close by though, Ren. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. Whew, thank you again. Take good care of her. Don't worry, you can leave this to us. So let's get back to the guild house. Oh. Oh, I feel ill. I feel ill. <laughs> okay, there's a note. Oh boy. Oh boy. Dude, I love the music in this area, but right now it's a bit too much. At the very least, I have the haze effect, so I'm not going to be charged at by monsters for no reason. Only way for me to get in. Ah, yes. You are. 
Huh? Oh my, Philip! How have you been? Your concern does me too much credit, your highness. I hope you and Mrs. Tell are well. Have you been to the villa recently? We have, actually. You were, um, busy in the capital, I take it. Yes, I was making some purchases on order of His Highness the Duke. Did you perchance encounter His Highness while you were at the villa? We encountered him, alright. Want to be nice and say hello. It's been some time since the, um, unpleasantness. From your expressions, I take it. He said something thoughtless to you once again. As his retainer, you have my most apologies. Ah! Oh, you don't need to apologize for him, Philip. I have to admit, I was a little worried when I heard he was placed under house arrest. He seems to be taking it well, however. It's kind of you, you to say so. Now fear must be off, if you'll pardon me, your highness. So I guess Philip's job is even harder now. He's been taking care of Dunon since Dunon was young, right? He's been Dunon's retainer for the past 20 years, from what grandmother tells me. I believe he was a member of the Royal Guard before then. Wait, really? Philip? Wow, guess you really can't judge by looks. Uh-huh. You really should underestimate him. Even I can tell he's not just any old guy. Uh-huh. What do you mean, Ren? Oh, um, you know, like how he can walk with his eyes closed. I sure couldn't do that. I think it, they're just narrowed, Ren, not closed. I mean, you notice how he opens his eyes when surprised, right? Really? I didn't. I want to see, I want to see. Maybe I can get a good look if I surprise him next time. Uh, maybe. I mean... He deals with Dudon all day. I, I don't think he's going to mind dealing with Ren. Up, oh, wrong turn. There's literally a sign right here. West Kronzel. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the guild. We need to talk to the Elnon about Ren. That's very important, yes, but the army should be sending the contact soon. You didn't forget, of course. Oh, uh, sorry, Estelle. Huh, what's wrong? You said you're gonna show me to the skill place, right? Oh, right. Come on, Ren, I'll show you the Bracer Guild. Yay! Uh... Hmm. Let's see if I can go talk to Anton with Ren in the part uh, with us. Is that time for the army elite to come? Let's hurry and get back to the guild. Fuck, man. All right. Oh. We weren't going this way? Wow. Well. Wow, shit. <laughs> We're back, Eldon. Oh. Estelle, welcome back. Oh, hello again, Miss Bright. We seem to be running into each other quite a bit these days. Well, hey there, Colonel Sid. Ah, oh, so Cassie sent you to help us. That makes sense. You came from Lyston, I'm guessing. That's right. I just arrived here a little while ago on one of our patrol ships. I apologize for the wait. No, it's okay. We actually had a little job of our own to take care of. Speaking of which, would that young lady be... All right, yeah, she is. Some stuff went down, so we had to bring her along. Hey, Ren. We've got some things we need to talk about with the army man. Can you go away on the second floor? Oh, is this work stuff? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, I guess I don't mind. You're just like Papa. It's always work, work, work. I don't really like that very much. Oh, I'm um, Ren. I can play with you for a little a while if you want. I want to get to know you. With you? Well, okay, I guess we could. <laughs> okay. We'll be on the second floor, Estelle. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ooh, saved by Tina. Saved by the Tina. Mm, well, your report on the situation can wait for now. Let's hear about Colonel. S Let's hear out Colonel Sid first. Sure. Go ahead, Colonel. 
<laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna hurry myself. This is an official request from the Royal Army. There's a series of incidents we'd like you to investigate. Incidents? Why does the way you say that make me shiver a bit? You're aware of the non-aggression pact? Yes. I'm afraid threatening letters have been delivered to all parties involved in the signing. Someone's threatening the treaty? <sighs> that's that's not good at all. What the letter say exactly? Please have a look. <laughs> to all parties involved in the non-aggression pact, immediately back down from this act of deceit and false compromise. Should you not, a great disaster will be visited upon you. <laughs> what in the? Well, that isn't very open to interpretation. Is it? Is this the entire letter? Yes, that's the entire thing. Hold up. <laughs> As you may have noticed, there's no name or any indication of a sender. Mm -hmm. Norma I simply dismiss it as a prank, however. However, something about the situation makes you believe it's more than a bad joke, yes? Yes, it's the volume of letters set, you see. The first arrived at Lyson Fortress. Copies were then sent to the airship company, Gransa Cathedral, Hotel Rowenbaum, and the Liberal News Service. One moment. I gotta clean my glasses. Oh, I need to get LASIK. Then co uh, copies arrived at both the Airborne and Calvert embassies, the Herb Royal Villa, and even Gronso Castle itself. Nine letters in total. Who'd send that many letters? Yeah, that'd be a lot of work for a prank in poor taste. You can see why the army would start to get concerned. It's strange though, the Airship Company, the Liberal News, and even the Hotel and Cathedral. None of these occasions have anything to do with the signing, do they? They're not totally unrelated, to be honest. The Airship Company shall be sending out charter vessels to ferry... The Imperial and Republican officials here, they will of course be staying at the Rowanbaum. Furthermore, the church, or specifically Archbishop Curate of the Cathedral, has been asked to be an observer at the signing. The Bear News has been preparing a special report on the pact and signing for, for weeks. Ooh. So they are all connected somehow. So do we have any idea who's behind it? That could be a difficult question to answer. This is an international matter, meaning anyone from Libero, Erebonia, or Calvert could be responsible. Yes, the war in either the Empire or the Republic, for starters. Could even be someone from another country entirely who isn't happy to see all three countries working together. Of course, there are plenty of suspects in Libero as well. We can't forget the obvious answer, the society. So we will be investigating, Colonel. Right then, the mission. We'd like for you to investigate all the locations that have received the letters and see if anyone has any further leads. Minus slice in an Arab, that is. We'll handle those. The other seven locations are yours. So the Airship Company, Gronsol Cathedral, Hotel Rombaum, the Liberal News, the Aeronobonian Embassy, the Calvardian Embassy, and Gronsol Castle. That will involve a bit of walking. <laughs> More to the point, uniformed soldiers asking around will attract a great deal of unwanted attention. Now that you lack an intelligence vision, it makes sense to ask the Guild to help investigate such matters. As embarrassing as the situation is, you're exactly right. Without a functioning intelligence division, we're very limited in what we can do. However, the new general plan from the top brass is to have the guild help us with as many tasks as possible. This is simply one case of that. Oh, really? Thanks a heap, Dad. <laughs> now, now, take it as a sign of Cassie's faith in us. I must admit, it was my request to ask for you, however. I've been placed in charge of the defense of the capital region until the signing ceremony. <laughs> I lack as much information as I can possibly obtain in order to prepare a proper defense. I can ask you to take this job. Oh, well, I do want to help, but we're really kind of hip deep in another case at this point. That girl, right? Let us hear a report on that situation now. Abandoned at the error. I see, yes, an abandoned child is a problem you cannot simply ignore. Why would anyone do such a thing? It's kind of freaking me out, too. I actually met her parents once briefly. They seem like this really thoughtful, loving couple. They adore Ren from what I saw. 
I have to think something really, really serious happened to them to make them leave her. Possibly. They may have gotten entangled in something and wanted to keep their child out of it. I do see an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone, however. Huh? Red and her parents are foreigners, remember? You'll need to inquire at the hotel and the embassies regardless. Hey, I think you... Wait, I think I know where you're going with this. Ah, and all those places were threatened that is rather handy in an unfortunate way. The Edge Coven may have travel records for them as well. I'll put out a general alert to all army posts to watch for appearance as well. Should they pass through any of the gate checkpoints? We should know. Thanks, Colonel. It sounds like you can take the job after all. Colonel, you may leave the investigation to us. I presume you'll want the final report in paper and in person, however. Yes, we prefer to avoid telephones to avoid any risk of interception. You'll be able to find me at the Air Royal Villa beginning today, actually. Sorry for the extra trouble, but could I ask that you bring the final report there in person? Sure. We'll see you at the villa once we know what's up. I wish you luck then. Eh, my voice is given out. Seeing Colonel sit out, Estelle's team decided to split up to investigate. Estelle, Zinn, Olivier, and Chloe were to head to the embassy. Embassies. Granso Castle and the Liberal News, while Sherazar would investigate the Cathedral Hotel and Airship Company on her own. Okay, we'll be heading out. Tita, Ren, sorry to leave you two behind. Oh, it's okay. We're going out shopping. Er, what? Sorry, Estelle. Ren really wants to visit the department store. Well, that's not how I remember things, Tita. As I recall, you were the one who said she wanted to look at all the stuffed animals. Oh, Ren. Uh, well, um, I never bored Ren, but since I'm not sure when we'll find out something about your parents, I'd like for you to wait here. Uh, oh, come on, that's so not fair. Double doe eyes stares. I don't really see a problem, Estelle. If Tita's with her, it should be safe enough to let them go out shopping in and around the city. I guess so. Okay, Tita, Ren, we'll be back by this evening, so you need to be back by then, too, okay? And the capital's a really big place, so don't get lost. We will and we won't. Ren, let's go. After you. See you, everyone. Oh, boy. They sure became fast friends. Yeah, it's really easy to become friends at that age. Man, youth. I feel all older now. Although, Tita and Ren together. Why does that combination send the chill of doom down my spine? Oh, I think they'll be fine. Tita's kind of easy to push around, though. I get a feeling Ren might try to drag her into all kinds of stuff. That might be a good point. Ah, yes, Ellen. Did you find out the names of Ren's parents? It took a little insistent asking, but she eventually gave them. Her father's a traitor from Crossbell. Harold and Sophia Hayworth are their names. Trader from Crossbell. Harold and Sophia Hayworth. Okay, got it written down. As do I. So, let's start asking around about them in these letters. So remember, a sales group will visit the embassies, Gronsel Castle, and the Liberal News. Zinn, Olivier, will be counting on your aid at the embassies. Fear not, my brilliant smile can open any door. We'll make sure you see the ambassador. Your Highness, your help would be invaluable at Gronsel Castle. Please introduce Estelle to whoever can, be best can best help our investigation. Of course. As for the barrel news, I believe you yourself have an in for that, Estelle. Yeah, I can bug an all about it. He kind of owes me at this point. And that leaves the cathedral, the airship company, and the Roman bomb. Sherazard, good luck with those. I should have to. I shouldn't have too much trouble. I'll try to be quick. So let's go. Whoa! Time to get questioning. That where should we start? Mm, don't think it matters too much. If you want to go to the Calvard Embassy, you've got a free pass with me around. I can issue it to Elsa whenever. I, of course, can get us into the Airborne Embassy. They should be glad to escort us if I choose myself at the gate. Of course, I'd rather doubt it'll be very hard for me to get us into, Gron into Gronzo Castle. Yeah, I don't think the princess is going to be barred from the castle. It might be wise to simply go straight there and speak with the grandmother. I kind of doubt the liberal news will give us any trouble either, so uh, let's just pick a direction to go. Well, um... Apparently there's a mission? There's a side quest. Uh, it's not particularly valid, so it's likely just a prank, but I would like to ask for this to be safe. East block, near the landing port. Let me see save it. Good work, seems to see your objective safely. If you complete any other tasks, we'll report again. We got an item, let's see it. Ingenuity. Recover small amounts of EP while walking. Five fire, which I believe is 
fire three, technically? Attack three, sorry. And that adds another two to space. And another two to water. So we've got like a, like a nine water at this point. Oh, wait. <sighs> yeah, it gives me Tyrell and Latira. Okay, um, we got That's interesting. So we, 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 we're getting up. Uh, it was... Yes. Magic one. Uh, the all. Geocatastrophe. 14 and 12. Hmm. I don't have that just yet. Um, let's see, for... Kokidis. 25! Oh, jeez. We're definitely not getting that. Diamond Dust is the next? What? La Curia. La Curia is the one uh, I, I, I wanted to look into. Uh, Arc Prominence, 10 for fire. Nice, nice. Um, Grand Stream, 20. White Gehenna, 10. It was 10 space. I hate that. And then you have Death Scream and Orbal Down. Lost Mobius, I love that. Let's see, 6, 12. Do I not have 6? Wait, do I seriously not have 6? Hold up. 3. Yeah! 5. Three plus two is five, plus two is seven, plus five is twelve, plus three is fifteen. I have fifteen. How do I not have a, uh, the the other one? Huh. Nope, that didn't do anything. Oh! It's not an attack!
Yeah, I still don't have it though. Weird. Anyway. That is going to be it for this uh, little bonus stream. It's 8.12. I've broken through the 8pm 8, 8 barrier that my body gave me, so... I should be able to stick it for the next hour or so. Um... Hmm. I will be back tomorrow at 11, somewhere between 11 and 12. Uh, I know not yet. Uh, should be 11 though. Um, uh, yeah. Anyway. Right, so I will see you guys then. Uh, no host, because I don't know anyone who's online right now. Bye-bye. <laughs>